Okay, so these are some modules um, for building lithium iron phosphate pouch cells that I was thinking of doing. Um, so the um, the idea was was that the individual pouch cells, um, like those guys, are the, the, the pouch is plastic and it's kind of you know flimsy, so you need some kind of protection for it. And so one of the ideas was is that if you build it into a more usable uh, form for at least myself anyway, um, these are uh, four cells each. So that is an, a 12 volt battery. Um, so that's you know kind of universally usable, or I could use it to you know for you know kind of like what I did for the car with the lithium ion phosphate, you know, battery pack for a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle or battery electric vehicle, or just as a 12 volt battery in general. Um, and that's fine, um, but here you can see a little bit of a difference. The one on the left is eight cells per sub pack case module, and the one on the right is four cells, but this is three eighths and this is six fours. So either way, it's 24 of the A123 uh, power cells, like those down here. Um, so it's so the same number of cells, same usable capacity, but I'm a little smaller by going this way. Um, it saves about 15 millimeters. The, um, the 3 eighths are uh, 190 millimeters uh, this way. And the 6 fours um, on the right are 205 millimeters. So it's like 15 millimeters that I save, which is nice. I mean, it's the same battery anyway. Um, the case, the, the, the uh, case box itself is actually lighter too. So for say eight cells, whether I'm using one of these or two of those, the two fours would be about 760 grams, where the one eight would only be like 450 grams. So right off the bat, I'd be saving about 310 grams every eight cells. So a little bit of space saving, a little bit of weight savings, that's, that's good. And then when I look at, say, the case with eight cells in it, um, it's a fairly good fit. I don't have to worry about it shorting because it makes sure that it stays back. And that's not finished yet. But just this by itself is about 4.4 4, uh, kilograms or about uh, just under uh, 9.7 pounds. By the time I add some connections and so forth, um, the finished eight cell little module is gonna be about uh, 10 pounds, which is a usable, you know, decent. That's not super heavy. Um, but you can, you know, you know, of course, put it in series or parallel with other things. You could make the 8 inside either um, 8S or uh, 2P, 4S, or uh, 4P, 2S, or whatever. Um, but I'm leaning toward that. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fairly nice size. It's not too heavy, you know, and stuff like that. But it saves a little bit more over the 4. Um, and that's kind of the direction I think I'm going to be going eventually here at least for my own little projects. Um, okay.